the experience of going to that game. I get that the NFL cares, but Jesus Christ. I think the NFL has kind of forgot that sports is like an escape. You know what I mean? Especially now with social media and all that shit. You just can't get away with all the fucking, uh, just all the fucking shit that's, oh my God, this, this city just got hit by a fucking hurricane. This way, oh my God, Puerto Rico, then why, why, isn't, why aren't they getting help out there? You know what I mean? Oh, these veterans are coming back. They commit suicide, blah, blah, blah. All this fucking shit. It's just, it's fucking brutal. So what do you do? You need to shut it off for a while. You go to a fucking game. But this, this was the experience at the Atlanta game. First of all, dude, it was so fucking loud in there. And j- just take all this with a grain of salt because I'm, I'm an old cunt. All right? I get in. It was so fucking loud. Um, they have these giant flat screens up at the top all going around in a circle and they're they're amazing i don't think that they're too big and they're not hanging down in your face so they're not really that distracting or anything but it was like the cheerleaders came out and they fucking were playing this music i felt like i was at an acdc concert it was that fucking loud and all of a sudden like sam jackson no 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 wait before that wait before that little john and another uh atlanta rapper i don't i mean i'm white as shit i don't know who the fuck this guy is um, I'm sure he's great. Whatever. They did like a public service announcement on fan behavior. All right. Which I'm sure is based off the one cunt who fucking punched the 63 year old guy four times in the face. So now we got to get a lecture on how to be human beings. And they just sit there going like, uh, you know, don't, uh, don't, you know, don't be discourteous to the people next to you. It was funny. It was really bland copy and watching little John trying to like add something to it was hilarious. Uh, and he, he, at one point they say don't say anything racial I believe that's what they were saying it was so loud it was echoing and I couldn't hear it and then there was something about not saying anything politically charged <laughs> now it's just like where the fuck am I right now who the fuck gives, about, gives a shit about politics I'm at a football game who gives a fuck I'm trying to think back when I was a kid, when I went to a Bruins Patriots game or something like that, you know, in the late 80s. I don't ever remember anybody yelling out shit about Mike Dukakis versus George Bush Sr. Um, anyways, oh, let me get back to this guy real quick. Um, yeah, so they, they said to they, this, this whole fucking thing happens and then the fucking cheerleaders come out and they're playing some fucking crazy loud song all this fucking DJ shit they're out there dancing shaking their ass I literally had my fingers in my ears like Jesus Christ I should have brought earplugs to this fucking thing and then out of nowhere Sam Jackson starts fucking screaming at everybody to get up something about the heartbeat you know, we got to fucking do this. First of all, it's like, Sam Jackson, you're from New York. Why, when did you start giving a shit about the Falcons? You know what I mean? I mean, you would think he had enough capital one money to take a fucking weekend off. The guy's in Star Wars. He is like Capital One. He's everywhere you want to be, right? This fucking guy's screaming, and he's doing the whole fucking, like, and there's something about a heartbeat. He yelled some shit. We got to fucking get out there. And then this giant heartbeat would go, go, go deafening and then they'd cut to like you know and when it it was like beating they would cut to like an Atlantic Falcon like thumping his chest mean mugging you and I'm just like dude I'm not playing (laughs) I don't need to get this amped up screaming and fucking yelling it was so loud and so fucking distracting that I didn't even notice that the fucking players had taken the field and what alerted me that the players had taken the field was after Capital One Sam Jackson had stopped screaming and the heartbeat had ended, all of a sudden I hear a locomotive train horn. It just goes, what? Loud as shit. And they kicked the ball off. So it was the cheerleaders, yeah, 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 Sam Jackson, get the fuck up, you motherfuckers. You know, and then, what? And after all of that shit, the fucking ball just goes out of the back of the end zone. Dad! And then the announcer just goes, touchback Atlanta. So I burst out laughing and the lady next to me starts laughing and I, and I look at her like she saw what I saw 
and thought it was funny. And she was just laughing because I made her uncomfortable because I was at the game by myself and I just bursted out laughing. So I think I came off as like a crazy person. All right. And then, uh, then I, then, 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 then all this shit starts happening. Okay. And, and intertwined with all of this is like the trail of tears that for some reason, the NFL, I don't know what they're trying to do. Um, I understand that there's a lot of people suffering in the world. I get it. I do benefits. I give to charities. You know, I, I, I try to do my fucking part. I don't know what the solution is. I don't know why we can't get along. I don't know why there's disease and all that. But, we, but what we do have is we have music and we have sports. And it's a way to kind of get away from it, right? This is what the fuck I saw at the game, okay? The game starts... And they have a veteran who's missing a leg, runs out with the flag, okay, which is uplifting, but also depressing. He lost his leg. I'm like, ah, fuck, these fucking kids, man, this whole fucking generation, generations at this point. We've got to be in the second generation that's over there fighting fucking wars. Why why do we try to solve things this way? This poor fucking guy, man, he's losing, he missed, he's lost a leg, all right? So I'm thinking about people losing limbs in the war. The lady goes out, the lady goes out to sing the national anthem. Now, it was so fucking loud when they announced, I forget what her cause was. There was some sort of ribbon, and it was cancer-related. So we got the one-legged vet, and then I'm like, ah, fuck, the veterans, ah, Jesus Christ, God, how do we get out of this fucking war? Right? I'm thinking about that. Then I'm thinking about people with cancer, and then the coin toss, they bring this cute little boy out, nine-year-old kid or something, who survived bone marrow cancer. And then I start thinking, oh, my God, what if my... That's horrible. What if my kid ever got cancer? How would I handle that? What would I do? Oh, my God. If my kid died, I'd fucking kill myself. I start, I'm thinking suicidal fucking thoughts here. All right? Then the fucking game starts. Ah! Touch back Atlanta. Right? They're playing all this shit, loud as fucking shit. And I'm trying to shake off all the misery of the world that I've been reminded of. Like five different examples. And then out of nowhere... This, they show this they show this guy on the screen, and, and then they show this woman who's married to the guy, and she's now a widow because the dude died in, in Afghanistan. And I'm like, oh, my God, she lost her husband. Oh, the poor woman. That's fucking terrible. And then they cut to her wearing an Atlantic Falcons jersey with her two kids who are now fatherless, wearing the jersey, smiling and waving at this giant fucking flat screen. And all I'm thinking is, like, those fucking kids are going to grow up without a father. Second down and three Atlanta. Right? I'm just like, what the, f- what is going on here? It was one of the most depressing, f- dude, there was like nine minutes left in the first quarter. And in case you missed the veteran running out with one leg, they fucking showed that again. And uh, all I could think at that point is, like, what is the halftime show going to be? Am I going to watch somebody die in an iron lung? <laughs> Well, their family members are holding hands, crying. And then the PA announcer would be like, yeah, that's right. Look at them. Look at their misery. Do you people realize how lucky you are? You don't have to spend your life in your own personal submarine, inhaling and exhaling. I mean, Jesus Christ, NFL, why, why stop there? How about every time they fucking throw the ball, you show me the cow that was slaughtered so they could have the skin... Anytime they shoot T-shirts into the crowd, why don't you just show me the fucking sweatshop labor that, that put it together? You know what it is? Caring is a great fucking thing, but how about you pick a cause? Rather than they... they I mean, what did they show in the... Th- I mean, I left. I left with like five minutes left in the second quarter. It was just like, you know what? This is a great stadium. I want to be here with the friends and shit. And uh, I'm already depressed that I'm on the fucking road. I'm missing my family. I came here to get away from that sadness. And I've been reminded that I'm kind of being selfish because there's people have way bigger sadness than I do. And somewhere in all of that, I saw a balloon fucking dick and balls, twisted fucking balloon animal while kids were walking by. I'll tell you, it was a hell of a day, you know? So I actually, and I, I saw that the Jets were, were fucking coming at the Pats, and I was like, why don't I just go sit in a fucking bar and, and, and watch this thing? This is the other thing, too. Like, 
I, I, I just I just don't one hundred percent buy that the fucking NFL truly cares that much. You know what I mean? Because you know they got busted whenever they show a veteran in the crowd. We have one of our heroes here. Ba 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 ba. The whatever branch of the service they're showing, they have to pay the NFL. They consider it a recruitment video, like a like a commercial. I heard they recently adjusted it. I don't know, but what the fuck, right? How much fucking money do you have to make? So I believe the owners individually, I believe that they all care about these causes. I'm sure all of them have had, you know, friends or whatever fighting in wars have been touched. You know, unfortunately, had a family or a family member or a friend that got cancer or something like that. But I really have to believe that just because it is a corporation and the way that they handled and the way that they've handled their players. You know what I mean? with all the brain damage and shit and they just fucking ignored it allegedly after they knew about it and then when they did the class action suit against the NFL they basically gave every player like 800 or 1000 bucks um it just comes off like a PR move like that they feel that they can grow their brand this is my conspiracy theory i'm not saying i'm right i think the NFL resents soccer that it's worldwide and the UFC that started well after them that also went global. I think they want to go global and I think they've reached the maximum amount of sports fans. So now they're trying to grow their brand through caring. Everybody's trying to show how much they care. Or maybe it's a symptom of this fucking social media craziness where everybody's like, I don't know, just going nuts, screaming and yelling at people. Um, that they try to get out in front of it and care about every cause that's out there. I have no fucking idea, but all I know is I went to that game, you know, going, all right, let me kill a day here and forget how much I'm missing my wife and my kid. And I went there and it's just just like, wow. I guess the good thing was I realized I don't have a lot. I don't have my troubles aren't as big as other people's troubles, but Jesus fucking Christ NFL. How about you just pick one? Pick one. I, you know, the Fred Sox always had the Jimmy fun, you know. They had that, and it was that was it. That was, I mean, Jesus, it was fucking unreal. So, um, anyways, having said that, you got to go to the stadium. <laughs> you got to go to the stadium. All right? Um, but I would, before you go to the Falcon Stadium, I would recommend you watch Raising Arizona. Watch something really funny. Get yourself in a, in a really elevated mood because they are going to bring you down. They are going to bring you fucking down. Jesus Christ.